Dear 14-year-old Emily, for the longest time, I wanted to just give you a remote control and let you fast forward all the way to where I am now. Yet, as days go by, I acknowledge more and more how my struggles have shaped me and how they will shape you. I know how hard it is to have conflict and fear, but sometimes we have to feel those things. I know your aggravation because we have always been the kind of girl to just power through, to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. However, sometimes you're going to break. First day of freshman year, you will walk into class feeling confident and walk out humbled, to say the least. Your teachers will always challenge you here, but instead of viewing it as a curse, see it as an opportunity. It is your job to see those opportunities and take them. Maybe a push is more work, but in the in-depth class discussions will make you wiser. Maybe honors chemistry seems like a foreign language at first, but you sure know how to name those elements. You will have anxiety about being socially ostracized. You will have depression from suffering a loss. And you will hit so rock bottom that there's only one way left to go, up. Then you contemplate whether or not asking for help is weak, but why? Why would you be ashamed to break, crumble, scream, or all of the above? Emily, we are merely human, and how we feel and what we logically know do not constantly correlate. I know you will overcome this barrier because you will tell mom and dad about the anxiety. When you do, a lot will change. Don't be afraid of that change because those two weeks you take an outpatient will be the most frightening yet most rewarding moments in your life thus far. You will learn to see a roadblock and instead of just screeching to a dead halt, you will learn to coast over the obstacle. Honestly, there should just be a mandatory life skills class in high school, cut out the middleman. But when you move forward, I know you will become guarded. We always get that way. I want you to know, however, that you're not the only one fighting a battle. So be open and kind because we're all attempting to make it through this thing called life. Realize that no matter how strenuous it may be, you deserve to get your education from Elgin Academy. Do not let anyone take that opportunity you are so fortunate to have away. One day, you will be standing in front of 150 people giving your senior speech, feeling bittersweet that it all went by so quickly. Good luck, Em. If you can keep perspective on the big picture, you'll make it. Let's be honest, how else would I have? Thank you.